Hi, I'm Danny at Danny's Do-It-Yourself Garage. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be repairing the auxiliary audio input jack on my 2009 Honda Civic. I'll repair it with a simple paper clip and it's going to take about 10 minutes to do this job. Let's get started. So if I wiggle my port here, It'll change from auxiliary to not auxiliary. There it goes, and then... So there's, there's the difference right there. Okay, so now this is what we're trying to get out of the car, and it's held in right here by that. And this tab here and ideally you'd want to go in there and squeeze these and it would just pull out but that's impossible to do so what we'll do a different way um, we need to unlock these tabs right here so once these tabs are unlocked as you can see it pops right out um, just Try not to lose this rubber washer there. And then once that's off, we'll end up pulling it out. And these are gonna come off the connector. And then once this is off and everything's off, you'll just take this and just push it inside the car. Once it's in the, inside the car, we'll pull it out a different way and then undo that connector. All right, our first step on this job is there's a little cover underneath. It's right about here. And there's a little tab. See how that pulls apart? Just like that. And then that opens up this area, which we're going to need, as I'll show you. Okay, now to pull it out, just take a small screwdriver. And you want to get into that edge. See how that just popped? It released those tabs. And then also on this side small screwdriver in there and turn it. I just release those tabs. And if you're worried about scratching this, just put a little tape around it. As long as you're gentle, I think you'll be all right. There we go, that came off. And this little rubber thing came out too, so don't lose that. Now, I'm gonna grab this piece here, pull it. Now that's off, let me set that aside. And now I'm just gonna push this inside. inside and then I'll pull it out <sighs> so pull it out and then there's a small tab you push and pull and that's how you pull it out let me go over to the bench now to go back in on this there's a little slot here for the circuit board and as you can see inside those holes will line up with this 
So let's go ahead and line that circuit board up. That's in. And don't forget that little washer. Put that on, and then we're, we're all set. Now as for the fix, all we need is a little paper clip. We're gonna straighten out the paper clip. Get a little piece of needle nose pliers. And you're gonna twist it like that. You're gonna get a couple of, you're gonna get some cutters. And just snip it. And this is gonna be our special tool that we're gonna fix it with. Let me show you how that works. All right, so what we need to do is we need to put our special tool, our paper clip, between the white one and the blue one. And we wanna get underneath, right where that metal and metal, underneath the metal and the plastic right here. Okay, let's go ahead and get that in between the white and blue wire. And go underneath that tab there. Looks like it's going. Push it in a little bit. Push it in as far as you can. So next we just want to take this connector now that we got our special tool in there and we want to bring it back out here so let's go ahead and reach in push it out grab my pliers grab a hold of it go so from here we're gonna go ahead and plug it in and make sure the augs is facing that way and we're just gonna put it back in just like that We're fixed. I'm really happy my auxiliary input jack is working again. Now I can listen to my tunes. If you learned something in this video, give it a like and consider subscribing. As always, thanks for watching.